A former Keolis employee is facing federal charges accused of stealing millions of dollars that were supposed to go towards commuter rail upgrades. And as WBC's Katrina Kincaid shows us, commuters are fuming. Keolis is the private company that runs the commuter rail for the MBTA, and investigators allege that that former employee was able to steal over $8 million for seven years before anyone noticed. That's insane. I, I don't even know. I don't, it's, like I said, I don't even know how to slip by for so long. Some commuter rail riders were surprised at the news. I'm just shocked. I mean, I'm stunned. I, wow. But others, given the recent issues with the T, aren't shocked that money meant for repairs has been missing for so long. I'm not surprised. The former employee John Pigsley, or Big John as he's known, is being charged for allegedly skimming the millions that were meant for upgrades to the commuter rail. While working for the company, Pigsley was in charge of ordering and approving electrical supplies to fix the trains. He got away for seven years. Yeah, that's incredible. He allegedly contracted a friend for electrical services, but instead of real work, he paid the friend Keolis funds for personal items such as trucks, bobcats, home upgrades, and a camper. Some writers were confused on how he didn't get caught earlier. There's no one who checks behind them, validates these kind of things. I can't believe that eight million went unnoticed. That's the more surprising thing. Like some money is like, you can slip some stuff under the table, I suppose sometimes, like it might be easy, but eight million's a lot of money. The whole investigation left some riders curious about how the alleged stolen money could have been used for good. With all the delays and all the things we have to endure, I wonder if we could have got things fixed a lot faster had that $7 million been able to be utilized for the right reasons. The MBTA tells WBZ that Keolis immediately notified them of the scam and has since paid back all of the money that was lost. In Boston, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News.